Hello guys in this video, I will be showing you guys how to view convective inhibition values, or SIN for short on Pivotal Weather and the Storm Prediction Center's website, let's get into it. As we all know, thunderstorms are a significant threat to aviation and we must avoid thunderstorms to ensure a safe flight with safe passengers, SIN is short for convective inhibition, and it's basically an atmospheric cap, the higher the SIN values are, the stronger the cap. If there is a strong cap in place, then thunderstorms that form will be forced back to the ground. In this video we will take a look at where to find forecasts and values from weather models with pivotal weather and real-time SIN values. On the Storm Prediction Center's website now, let's begin. First let's start with pivotal weather. Go to pivotalweather.com, then once you reach the home page, click on the button that says models. Click and then when the page loads, click on the button that says GFS and when you do that, a menu pops up. Under the list that says convection allowing, you have a list of models to choose from. I will use the HRRR in this video. You can also use the NAM 3 km CONUS or the other models. Once you have chosen your desired model, scroll down until you find a menu with a button that says severe weather. Then under the instability menu, click on the button that says surface based SIN. Once you do that hover over the colors to see the SIN values. If you want, click on the button near the top that says continentalis and click on regional. Then click on one of the dots to select an up close view of an area of the conus. Now let's do the Storm Prediction Center's website. I will leave the link to their mesoscale analysis website in the description. Now let's get started. First if you want to look at an up close view of the conus, to the top where it says change sector and hover over the button. Then click on one of the square boxes to view an up close view of the conus. Once you have done that, go near to the top where it says thermodynamics and hover over the button. Once you do that click on the button that says surface. Based cape. Once you do that find the part of the map where it shows a blue shaded area. If you see that, then that means there is SIN present. The lines on screen show cape values which is just fuel for thunderstorms. Anyways that's all for this terrible boring video thanks for watching and goodbye.